Hey family, so as many of you all know, our loved ones in southeastern Kentucky are bracing for the worst right now. As flood waters are continuing to rise, the rain is coming down, and we know over the next few days it's only going to get worse. Three of our loved ones have perished already, and we know those numbers are going to increase as well. Governor Bashir has issued a state of emergency for several counties in the area, and we know that a lot of resources are being deployed as we speak. The National Guard is on the ground, FEMA has been deployed, and our loved ones in Tennessee and West Virginia have deployed their National Guard as well, and I want to thank them for that. In this moment of crisis, we have to stand together and provide the relief to our loved ones, and we know that there are several who are stranded in their homes right now. If you are in Breathitt, Letcher, Perry, or Knott County, please know that 911 is overwhelmed, but you can call KSP at 606-435-6069. And for those of you who are seeing this and want to help provide aid, mutual support, resources to our loved ones that have lost everything, Governor Bashir has created a fund now to put resources on the ground. And you can go to teameky.floodrelieffund.ky.gov. And lastly, this work is going to take time to rebuild, but we're going to do it together as family. Team Booker is committed to the work. Please go to charlesbooker.org slash crisis response to help us do just that. We'll make it through this. We're praying for our loved ones. Let's stand together as family. We had to swim out. And it was cold, it was over my head, so yeah. It was scary. We've got folks now that we can't get to. They've got water in their homes and they're trapped and we just can't get to them because the water, the water is so swift. Been a fireman almost 27 years and this is the worst I've ever seen. Uh, people unaccounted for, probably 95% of the people in this area here has lost everything. Houses, cars, animals. It's, it's heartbreaking, it really is. morning communities across southeast Kentucky continue to clean up after Thursday morning's flash flood event. This was an event that actually went from a flash flood situation to now a river flood situation after six to ten inches of rain fell in a very short amount of time. The communities of Hazard, Jackson, Garrett, and Boonville all being impacted greatly. And in Perry County, roads are still impassable at this point. So far, 50 air rec rescues have been completed with 100 boat rescues, and we are expecting more as we go over the weekend. Rock House, Kentucky, 8.76 inches. Hazard, 8.67 inches. These are rainfall uh, rainfall actual reports in less than 10 hours. Really astonishing stuff. And that is why we're seeing the river flooding that we're seeing at the present moment. What we know is over 25 are, are reported dead. They are expecting the death toll to continue to rise. We still have a lot of communities that the Kentucky National Guard has not gotten into yet because the roads are still impassable. Thousands are without power, and a state of an emergency continues for Kentucky, Virginia, and West Virginia as we go into the weekend. Now, the North Fork River, this is really fascinating stuff. The major level for flooding on the North Fork River in Jackson, Kentucky, is 40 feet. We had a crest point Friday morning of 43.47, so we haven't seen levels like this for this river in over 70 years. You have to go, actually, all the way back to 1939 to see this level of flooding. We do have excessive rainfall in the forecast this afternoon. It stretches from northern Arkansas all the way back across the desert southwest. We'll keep an eye on the state of Tennessee this afternoon. I could see one or three inches of rain falling from Jackson to Clarksville, just outside of Nashville. And especially as you get into northern Arkansas, a place like Memphis to Russellville could get into two or three inches of rain through the course of the afternoon hours. And by the way, across the desert southwest, it's monsoonal season, so we're going to see rains from Arizona all the way up to Nevada. That can result, of course, in some more flooding, and we have flood alerts flying from Arizona into the Vegas Strip.
that's that. We've got it covered. Oh, yeah. Because I can't get a hold of nobody. Uh, Taylor, I'm probably going to stay here for a while. Uh, my vehicle. This is out by the Apple shop in downtown Whitesburg. All right, Sam here. I am in Isom, uh, Kentucky. As uh, many of you may know, this whole part of Kentucky was hit by pretty severe flash floods uh, just yesterday, uh, about 24 hours ago. And so I'm here in Isom, where uh, the IGA here, the grocery store behind me, is the only grocery store for about 15 to 20 miles in either direction. And uh, I don't know if you can quite see, but floods came up to about halfway up that glass there. So everything is lost in the whole grocery store. They're clearing it out right now. I was just talking with the owner and uh, we're gonna start uh, with uh, bringing some hot meals here tomorrow. So until that grocery store gets up and going, the whole community can come uh, get something to eat. We've got like, four teams in the region, a lot of uh, smaller townships like this pretty spread out in the Appalachian Mountains here that uh, have all been doing really badly affected. So we've got a team a little farther up north and uh, what is it? It's, it's uh, Hazard is the name of the town and they're setting up a whole large, large scale production kitchen up there and uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow with some hot meals. We'll keep you updated, thanks.